Hey everybody, it's Carla here. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, got a different view because I've been over here kind of cleaning up my office area and had a couple bags that I picked up of stuff. Oh gosh, I just did that and shook the table, sorry. And um, wanted to share with you a couple things that I picked up um, before I put them away. So I went to a couple of thrift stores in the past week or two and I've been so busy I haven't been able to share with you guys. I went to the reconsidered goods store and they didn't have a ton. That was about two weeks ago, but I did pick up two little sizzlets. Remember these? I still love these. And um, I keep the little handheld one on my desk and these would work perfectly in there. As well as, you know, I have several other cutting machines. You can see the big one right there. So um, this is a beach ball and I was pretty sure I didn't have it. So it was 25 cents. And if I did, if I do have it, um, which I may, for 25 cents, sometimes it's worth it to have because I can cut two at a time. And then I could not pass up on these little sunglasses. How cute are these for the summertime? And again, these were 25 cents. And I'm pretty sure that's all I got because last time I went, I remember paying with change. So I got those two. Then there's another thrift store here in my little town that I've been wanting to go to and was finally showing some homes. Um, in that area and I was able to go in a lot of times when I'm in that area it's on the other side of where I live other other side of town um, they're closed or they're getting ready to close and I have to go do a showing by the time I come back through it's closed because they have like short and condensed hours so I made it a point one day when I was at the office to swing by and check them out so they had a couple things in there um, I think it's just one of those just like any thrift store you have to go in and check them out. So I found one uh, clean stamp set from Stampin' Up, which is part of their celebration. Does it have a year? I don't think so. They've not been used, so they're the clean red rubber. And it is approaching perfection and has some cute sentiments on here. The bad news is I forgot your birthday. The good news is I forgot your age. <laughs> That's cute. Then you get a balloon and then you get, sorry about the glare. I'm using my little ring light here because I was teaching class. Um, yesterday, happy birthday. Then I, this one says news flash birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. <laughs> Cute. If things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. So what if you're a year older, you're fabulous. So super cute, fun sentiments. So I picked that up $2 and I'm pretty sure it's not been used at all because nothing it looks like it's even been used. So $2. Pick that up. Sorry about this glare. I probably should have turned that ring light down. Okay, the next thing that I found there, which I was really surprised to see, was a big bunch of fabric. It was $2.50. Does it look familiar to anybody? Yes. Open it up. Take this sticky tape off. It is from our wonderful stamp designer, fabric designer that we all love and cherish, Miss Diana Markham. I don't know how much is on here. I could probably stand up and show you. It's a big, huge piece of Christmas fabric and it's folded over. It's pretty big, pretty big. And um, it's obviously Christmas. It's got little wreaths and little angels. And let me show you the edging. So if you're ever looking for fabric, um, look for the side and it will say Diana Markham. And then it will say for Marcus Brothers Textiles. So super cute. Very cute fabric that I picked up for $2.50. Um, it's a lot on here. So that was worth the trip over. That's the only two things that I bought at that thrift store. And so I'll have to check them out more often. See what else they got. Then I went into Freedom House. Freedom House is, um, some thrift stores in and around the Greensboro triad area in which I live. And I've gone into them before and found a few things here and there. This was the one that is in Greensboro off uh, Battleground Avenue for anybody that's local that watch. I know I have some local people, hey, that watch. 
and um so yeah i picked, purchased this on 6 11 so this has been a while and it was just one die that i found uh, yep it was 4.99 little on the pricey side for a die but still roll dies it's a big shot stampin up die and it's called peekaboo frames and i'm pretty sure i do not have this but there's the picture you can see oh gosh the glare let's see what happens if i turn this ring light off off hold on change i dimmed it maybe that'll help a little bit okay so it makes peekaboo frames you might could see the scale yeah you can see it that way right so these are little peekaboo frames so it will it will score over here so then you can lift this up and put little hidden messages i thought that would be cute for making tags cards and you get a scallop square a rectangle and a circle how cute is that a little smaller and yeah, so very cool. So it makes what five different cuts? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five cuts. Super cute. So that was five dollars. Okay. So I don't have a ton to share today, but if you guys have a Walmart near you, I've been seeing people get a few deals um, there. Um, not so much in the craft section, but in other parts of the store. So if you don't already, get the Walmart app so that you can scan the barcodes because I had gone and seen um, some Starbucks little gift packs that were marked down to $2. So I was there yesterday. My store still had them $15.88 or something. So it looked like they're resetting the seasonal, so they may not have programmed them yet into our, our systems. So I may check, check them out because those would make great gifts for clients and friends and stuff. But while I was in the, the paper section, because I did see one person show... Um, a couple days ago that their paper was on sale and I lucked up and got a couple good good deals so I just happened to pick this up these little bo box card sets I know you guys have all seen these these are the Maggie home ones you get 40 cards 40 envelopes and they usually are anywhere from depending on where you get them $5.99 to $9.99 um and does it have a year on here 2017 so five years old but all of her stuff matches there's everything that you get on the inside. And I got these for $2 a pack. That's worth it just for the envelopes. So there's all the different patterns. I bought all that they had because I make a lot of cards for clients. And I love these because they make great bases. If I get in a pinch, I can just use the card as is or put a little quick embellishment on them. So I got all four that they had. So if you like these, you might want to run to Walmart and... Um, pick them up because two dollars is really good i picked up some of these before at the christmas tree shop a couple years ago i don't think they were two dollars but i think they were three or four i can't remember then the other thing that i got i typically do not buy the cardstock there but i got this these on sale and i don't have my receipt here but i was thinking these were like four dollars or five dollars a pack and you get 180 sheets so it's pretty thin but it's called Candy Bright, and I thought for layering and not making things so bulky that these colors would be fun for the summer albums that I've been working on. And, you know, layering up and making not making things so heavy. So I got two of them. So that's it, guys. Check out your Walmarts and your local thrift stores because I'm finding a lot of people are cleaning out their houses and getting rid of, rid of stuff. My marketplace on Facebook, I see a lot of people doing hauls from that. I don't see those cool hauls, I mean, posts from, from my area. I think a lot of people sell at consignment stores. They donate to thrift stores and then wait for um, th the crafty yard sales. We have a couple stores here in my area that do them, and I think that's where a lot of crafters do. So, hope y'all all doing well and having a great summer so far. We here in North Carolina are in a horrible heat wave, getting ready to be into some drought conditions. Even though last night we had the storms, the clouds opened up and it was like, and everything was flashing and beeping and trees are down in the neighborhood. Luckily, I don't have that many trees on my property, um, but it was raining. There was, we could see in the driveway, it was like two inches of rain. Um, and my daughter was needing to go back to her apartment because she didn't move out to an apartment and I was like you're not going anywhere babe because remember she's having a baby so she's got um I guess two months from tomorrow 
is her due date, September 7th. So we're getting excited. So yeah, I know I ramble about that baby too much, but check out your Walmarts, check out your local thrift stores, and hope you guys uh, find some good bargains too. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody. Happy crafting.